Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to the Stock Swish Show Market Review of the SPY. I thought I'd review the SPY today because the chart's beautiful, it's gorgeous, it's amazing. And yes, the SPY did break the low of the day today, but really held in the support area. Low in here was 202.86 from the morning, came all the way down to 202.55, and 202.50 is the support, and it held. So <clears throat> I did a webinar last night. In the webinar last night, I said the market's probably going to gap up tomorrow morning or be neutral. It actually gapped up. Okay, nice gap up in the market, came in a little bit, held, and it's rallying and on its way to the next target, which is 204. We'll get to 204 today before the close because it's nowhere near 4 o'clock. And also, we could get up to the next number, which is 204.40, 204.50. So the market should fall through higher again tomorrow. Tomorrow is Wednesday. Let me just see here. Wednesday. I don't know where we got tomorrow morning, but yeah, the market's setting up to have a really bullish day here soon. And I, I, I mean, like majorly. Now today is bullish. Yesterday was bullish. This is these are this is a medium body bar. That's what I call a medium. Okay. The market's setting up here that it's going to have a very large uh, rally, large green bar here sometime soon. I don't know if it's this week. It, it very well could be this week, though, actually. It actually could be this week. So we'll have to see what it does. However, the reality is that the market is strong. It's so strong that it's shocking to me that people think that it's not. I get what people are looking at with the pivots and the series of higher uh, lower highs and lower lows that the market's made. But I've talked about this so many times in so many videos, it's not the correct way to read a trend in something. Now, if you ask me how do you know how to read a trend in something, Melissa, I say, well, I look at the price, and I look at the price and what in gaps. Someone also asked me last night and said that if the market breaks this double here, does it mean it's in a downtrend? And I said, no. No, it doesn't, actually. So, uh, you know, First of all, the market's holding. And second of all, the market's strong. And the market is also in an uptrend, and it's never broken it. Just because something makes lower highs and lower lows doesn't mean it's broken the trend. That's actually incorrect. That's why you see something like this that you think is in a downtrend with a series of pivot lows, and then it flips and makes a new high. And you say, wait a minute, what? It's because it really actually was never in a downtrend because it's not the correct way to read a downtrend or an uptrend in anything, meaning you don't read just a series of higher highs to determine an uptrend. When people take my class, they learn a lot of information about chart reading and price, but they also learn some specific things about support and resistance, which are not taught correctly in many classes out there because this is a support area in the market that's true. But if the market breaks as a support, the fact is that the market's still in the uptrend. There are multiple levels of support and resistance in a chart, and you need to know which ones are the ones that count. That's the best thing, the way that I can describe that or say that. Now, if you happen to think the market's lower and you want to disagree with me, that's fine. That's your choice. I'm not here to convince anyone of anything. I'm just telling you exactly what I know, and I'm sharing it on videos, and I teach the information that I know in my classes, and if people want to learn from me and trade with me, it's up to them. There will always be people out there that take an opposing position in something. And that's what makes the market. If, if I didn't have people that would be buying stocks I short, I would never make as much money as I do to the downside. <laughs> so, you know, it's like you have to understand the system, all right? And the system is that there are always people in a different position side. As I was discussing, though, in the webinar last night, the one very significant thing about trading profitably consistently is to train your brain to read control correctly so that you always take a position in the market of a stock in the right direction of the control. And the control in the market is to the upside. So if you're short the market, you're against the control. If you want to be successful, you have to train your brain to read control. And how are you able to do that? Through reading price and gaps. In my class. I mean, this is what I'm teaching people. The 26 points I teach in the Golden Gap class actually read control. Who is controlling the stock on that day? Intraday for you to take a trade in that stock. And that's how it works. So market is higher, 
we could even make a new high this week. We will very soon, though. That's I don't know the exact day. Again, timing is one of those things, but we are going to. So market is beautiful. Market is fabulous. Spy looks great. Next target, depending on where we gap tomorrow. Well, target for today is 204, 204, 40, 205, 204, 50, 205, 206, 25, 206, 207, 207, 50, 208, 209, 210, 213. And it'll be really interesting. I really just can't wait to see what the market does through this period. Like this tail happened here. The high of the tail was 212.97. Actually, 212 was a target I'd said last year on the SPY. It was a number the SPY never hit before, and it, it did hit it. It hit a dollar over. It went to the dream target. But I'm really going to be curious as to what exactly this is going to do over this number. It's going to do something. I can't wait to see what it is. We're going to get above this tail this year. And I think what's going to be really fantastic to see is how. I'm going to be watching that. So again, last night I thought the market would gap up or neutral. It did gap up. And I said there's no way we'd fall. We did break the low this morning, but once again, you have to understand what to do with this. And you would have had to put the stop at the right place to stay in if you went long in the market this morning, or you could have bought it here in the afternoon, which is not an ideal time to trade, but you could be long in the market because it's getting away up to the number. Actually, just hit 204. There you go. It just hit 204. Just hit 204 into 145 reversal time. So nice move up in the spine today. Market should just continue now and do its thing higher. If you're interested in the Golden Gap class, it's this weekend, February 7th and 8th. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Have a great day, everybody.